Colorectal cancer, also known as bowel cancer, is the second biggest cancer killer in the United Kingdom. It's curable if it's found in the earliest stages. There are about 40,000 new diagnoses a year. The gold standard for elective diagnosis through the screening program and through referral to the clinic is usually colonoscopy. There is a big problem with colonoscopy capacity with the number of colonoscopies that are available. Faecal immunotesting for haemoglobin, which the FIT test is, is looking for microscopic um, amounts of blood within the stool, which could be bleeding from the polyp or a cancer within the bowel. Patients and GPs may have heard about FIT testing being introduced in the bowel cancer screening program. It can be used with the NICE guidance for patients with low risk but not no risk of cancer, and purpose of our QFIT study to see if it would be helpful to reassure patients who may even have high risk symptoms that they don't have cancer. There is evidence that if you have no microscopic blood in your stool, even if you have had bowel symptoms such as a one-off rectal bleed, and you are not anemic, and you don't have any symptoms of bowel obstruction such as a bellyache, the chances of you having bowel cancer is almost zero. Ideally, we can take some of the pressure off colonoscopy units, which are often doing examinations on people who have no significant pathology found. The, the study is designed with the current pathway for fast-track patients. The patients are still going to get their standard investigations, and in parallel with that, we are asking them to return a stool kit. When I suspect my patient might have bowel cancer, they would have presented with a certain set of symptoms, such as change in bowel habits or blood in their poo. When a patient presents with those symptoms, I would refer them on a two-week wait referral and additionally give them a QFIT test. I explained that taking part in a QFIT pilot won't affect their treatment. However, it could affect the care of patients in the future. So the feedback we're getting from patients is that it's really easy to use. It's a single test, which you can do at home. There's no dietary requirements before using it. Additionally, the QFIT test is cheap. It costs roughly £10 as opposed to £600 for an average colonoscopy. If the patient was eligible, the GP nurse or their clinicians provide them the QFIT pack. These packs include QFIT pilot sample bottle, patient data information sheet, patient information booklet and patient experience survey. They're always quite impressed by the simplicity of the kit because previous tests have been quite complicated and had to do several samples whereas this one is one sample and you're done. Having collected sample, the patient needs to send sample bottle patient data sheet by using the prepaid envelope. When the sample reaches the lab, it's analysed using immunological antibody technology to identify human blood within a stool specimen, and it gives us a number of, to give us the concentration. It's much more accurate to the either positive or negative test which was done before. The long-term aim of the study is to get enough participants to the test can be used in primary care to reassure patients that they don't have bowel cancer.